full audio, we get the full experience. Did you just see that shit? How the hell are ya, interdimensional cucks? I'm Derpy Derpington. I mean, I'm Galactic Criminal. <laughs> Hey, we got ourselves interdimensional space metal band, Glory Hammer, which some of you might not know was actually my stripper name back in college. I'm just kidding. I didn't go to college. As some of you might know, I reacted to these guys roughly two and a half years ago, the end of 2016, their song Rise of the Chaos Wizards. From what I recall, that shit was pretty fucking badass, wearing costumes and shit. And even though I do know what they're kind of about, I decided to go to the Facebook anyway, and I did not regret it. <laughs> says, for band interests, warfare in outer space. Says they are interdimensional space metal. But I love this for the band members on, on vocals. Angus McFife, the 13th, the crown prince of Fife. <laughs> on guitars, Sir Proletius. Prole Proletius? Grandmaster of the Death Knights of Krail. <laughs> on bass, the Hootsman. Astral Demigod of Unst. On, on keyboard, Zargothrax. Dark Emperor of Dundee. And on drums, we've got Ralathor. The, the mysterious submarine commander of Cowden B. What? <laughs> But then you go into the description of this fucking video and you get even more gold. This song apparently coming from an album they got coming out next month called Legends from Beyond the Galactic Terror Vortex. That's just fucking awesome. <laughs> they got like a synopsis here. It says, Mighty Warriors of the Galaxy. Are you ready to raise up your laser-powered goblin smasher to defeat the forces of Zargothrax? <laughs> Then it's time to watch the video for our new single, simply called Glory Hammer. In this song, Angus McFife has arrived into a terrible alternate universe ruled by the evil wizard Zargothrax. And to make matters worse, his legendary hammer of glory is powerless. His only hope is to fly into space and recharge the hammer with the power of astral fire. <laughs> if his quest fails, then the forces of evil, led by the Death Knight Sir Proletius, will rain down nuclear fire upon the brave resistance fighters of the Kingdom of Fife. The tragic fate of the Kingdom of Fife hangs in the balance once more. That's just... That's so epic! And even with how badass all that fucking shit is, they are also power metal. I haven't checked out a power metal band on this channel in a while, excuse me. Interdimensional space metal, to be exact. So let's get right into this shit. Glory hammer. Glory hammer. With a one, two. Yeah, baby. Turn it up.
<laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh epic. I love it. <laughs> now I'll say straight off the fucking top, as much as I really enjoyed that, I was just a little bit, a little bit bummed that it wasn't like the other song I checked out. I mean, you heard a little snippet of it at the end of, of that video there. It was I was hoping it was going to be like the fast fucking style of like a power metal, dude. <laughs> but what we got was still pretty fucking epic. Now, yeah, I know when it comes to bands like this, they can be somewhat predictable. But I've talked about that before with a bunch of other uh, genres of their kind. As, as long as it's fucking, as long as it's done well, it's good and fun. And this was absolutely good and fun. And let's talk about this fucking video, man. The production level on this alone, yeah, I know it's all green screen and shit. It was just, it was so good. And it told exactly the fucking story of <laughs> Of what they're talking about in the synopsis there, he has to, like, recharge his fucking, his hammer in order to go back into battle. Just over the top, so ridiculously cool. Fly it through the air and shit. I mean, I saw the thumbnail for this. I was like, I gotta, I gotta check this out. Because I just know that it's going to be epic. And it was. I just, I heavily, heavily enjoyed myself with this track. And I gotta say, I feel for myself, the standout feature... Of, of this band, I mean, like, even from, I can kind of remember the other song that I checked out before, and now uh, with this one, I think is the fucking, the lyrics. And I mean, duh, you, you fucking heard me read what they wrote, <laughs> fucking, the synopsis for, for this song by itself, and who knows what the rest of the fucking, the album has to offer story-wise, just the, the lyrics are so great, <laughs> he's just, I'm so fucking epic, look how fucking awesome and cool I am, nothing can stop me! I, I felt unstoppable watching him. Just, <laughs> man. So yeah, I feel that everything was on point with this track, aside from maybe kicking it up a notch. You know, for a song that's running almost six minutes long, I was really hoping for a more up-tempo section, somewhere in the middle, maybe. You know, and, and I've said this on, like, a couple of tracks recently where it feels like they're, like, building up to a moment where they're gonna take off like that, and then it just doesn't happen. So I, I do have a little bit of blue balls for the speed, man, but still, still, just epic sail type fucking metal dude. I was into so many of these fucking styles of bands for the longest time, fucking Dragon Force and shit like that, dude. It's just, oh, it's nice to be back. <laughs> I am really stoked that this was awesome. I'm looking forward to hopefully another video before the album comes out. Also, there's some older videos of theirs that I still have yet to check out, so I'm going to do that fucking shit. So, hey, what did you think of this track? You think it's a nice opener for the album? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video, so you can go ahead and watch it for yourself. Full screen, full audio, and get the full experience. Did you just see that shit? Fucking, it was a blackout brown, what the fuck? <laughs> and as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.